Bye bye, home. What's up, guys? It's about 7 a.m. Friday, March 31st. 10 days past my uh, 26th birthday. Shout out to everyone that showed me love. Um, about to take a trip down to Hollywood to go visit Brittany as well as uh, see my MAT specialist. Uh, the trip is about six hours long to drive from the Sacramento area down to LA. So, uh, good thing I'm heading out before morning traffic. Trainee's in the back. I'm in this little rental car. It's like a Ford, Ford Escape or something like that. But it definitely beats driving in my Hyundai Tiburon, which is like bucket seats and shit, no lumbar support. Um, I'll see you guys down in SoCal. I'll probably take one, maybe two stops on the way down. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys down there. All right guys, I made it down to Hollywood. Made it here in about five hours, 45 minutes, which is pretty quick going from uh, Sacramento to LA. Here is Brittany, she has a, what do you have right now? An audition. For? A music video. <laughs> She's about to be in a DJ Khaled video, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Serving him grapes and massaging his feet. Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna go eat with Omar and Mariana, so. Yeah. All right, so she just got back. <laughs> There was a surprise, what was it? I had to fucking dance and lip sync too, on oh top of it. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was really bad. How'd it go, was it like a big like screen that you just read the words to the song or? No, we had to memorize it. But it was like three words, so. Oh, was it, what are the words? Are you letting me allow to say or? It's just like, I got the power. <laughs> oh my God. And it was like five of us girls and then we had to like do it together. It really How was awful. your dancing though? Yeah, really bad. I don't know, I just like... You just kind of like shake your hips a bit? Yeah. All right, good. I twerked on the wall. Did you take your pants off? Yeah. All right, that's hot. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, Almaza. <laughs> it's very fancy. If you guys don't know, I love Mediterranean food, right? I also love what? Fried plantains. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> Brazilian. <laughs> What's going on? What up? All right. So I'm gonna try out the baba ganoush that. Uh, what's this place called? Almaza. That's at Almaza. Let's go. Whoa. Amazing, right? That's hella good. Is it not the best? Brittany's like. Uh, no, I like it. Like Wait, it? it's tahini, right? Mm -hmm. No. What's it like salty? Uh... It's mixed, like it's the eggplant mixed with tahini. Uh, mm. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's so much, and it compared to hummus, it just has so much more flavor. And then Starboy comes on. Oh. What do you know? <laughs> Dude, it's legend. Damn, yeah, it's pretty good. I think you're yeah. gonna love the show on that. You think so? Oh my god. Okay, take your piece of bread. Look at that. Like I have to get this yeah. so Damn. What's happening guys? It is Saturday, April 1st. I almost fucked me dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening guys? It's uh, Saturday, April 1st. Uh, Brittany and I are here at Gold's Gym. Um, no pranks today, right? I'm not gonna prank anyone. I'm not pregnant. Last year, I last year I uploaded this uh, video. That was a prank, and a lot of people took it seriously. And it was really. I watched that actually. You actually saw that? How was that? Before I knew you. Really? That was funny. You saw it before you met me? Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird, but um, <laughs> a lot of people took that seriously, and they think that was a real admission of guilt. And I was just like, oh my god, you guys are so dumb. Anyways, we're here at Gold's. Uh, it's been about a week or a week and a half since I uploaded a video, so. I'm gonna show you guys a chest and back workout here at Gold's. Let's do it. It's so bright right now, my head, oh my eyes. <laughs> Started off this workout with flat dumbbell bench press and actually here's an update for you guys. Lately I've been trying out a different way of doing my flat dumbbell pressing. Normally I uh, flat dumbbell press for, basically it, I treat it like a compound movement. I use all the muscles involved. Um, obviously I uh, have good form but to me, it's like a compound movement. Lately, I've been doing these trying to isolate my chest more. And to do that, it's pretty simple. I just imagining opening up the pit of my elbow, um, the pit of my elbows, and then squeezing them up, or basically squeezing them together across my, my torso towards each other uh, to contract the chest. So 
you'll see the difference in just a moment. So that was my first set, and this was my third set. On my third set, I decided to do them how I normally do them and how I've done them for the last like 10 years. And um, no particular reason I'm doing them that first set the way that you saw me do in the first set, just giving it a go, trying things out. Um, I actually feel this way perfectly fine in my chest. Um, I just have been wanting to experiment uh, how it feels to do them a bit more concentrated and focusing on just hitting my chest as much as possible. Doing it like this hits my triceps a little bit more than that first set. Uh, but like I said, I'm an individual that I feel my chest being stimulated. I feel it growing from doing it just like this. For those, though, who have issues um, feeling their chest working or have issues with chest growth, then you may want to try out uh, how you saw me doing and explaining that first set of that flat dumbbell press where I was um, getting a really good stretch and focusing on kind of opening and stretching my uh, elbow pits. And then instead of just using my triceps and pushing the, it straight up, um, I was focusing on uh, bringing the pits of my elbows across my body towards the opposite elbow pit. So hope that makes sense. Um, I think for some people who don't feel their chest being worked, if you start mentally doing that, um, it, physically it doesn't look like a whole lot of difference, but uh, mentally as when you try that, uh, you should probably feel your chest working more if you've been having issues. Like I said, I don't really have issues with my chest being worked on shit, nearly every single kind of, especially, you know, flat, incline, decline sort of pressing. I never really had any issues with growth. Just been something I'm experimenting with. Uh, anyways, did those weighted pull ups three sets of eight. It's been a staple. I've been doing those twice every eight days. Um, so with, within every eight days, I hit them twice. Um, after that, did some these manual t-bar rows right here I've been loving these these have always been a staple in my life uh, since I was here at Gold's Gym I decided to hit some incline um, machine press I was looking for a hoist incline press but uh, my boy Chad brought me over to this one since they don't have a hoist incline press did these felt pretty good uh, my elbow is not 100% perfect. There's workouts where it's 100%. There's workouts where it's not. It just depends on my, uh, a, f a handful of different factors, uh, how thorough my warm-up was, you know, what position I slept in the night before, hydration, sleep, uh, posture, um, the warm-up, mobility, and so on. Uh, my elbow was tweaked. Just a little bit tweaky on that, but as long as I adjusted uh, the elbow position in such a way I, I felt great. After that, I did these high rows, and every gym honestly should have one of these because it's pretty hard to mimic this exact chest support and movement with anything else. Um, you could fool around and, and you know try things from different angles, but really this machine is so unique, and I wish every gym had one of these. Every gym needs one, but uh, just kept it really controlled. Um, sometimes people use more weight uh, with a little bit less control, really up to you, but I like to do these the way you see them right here. Sometimes in the past I would change the, uh, the height of the seat just to hit sets with my elbows tucked in more or my elbows higher up. Elbows tucked in more, obviously, a little bit more lats involved, and then the elbows higher up, pulled higher and more flared, more middle, upper back. So. After that, we did some pec deck. This is a really good machine here at uh, Gold's Gym Venice. I really like this. You could actually adjust it and set it to more of an incline if that's what you want. Uh, I set it to the lowest, uh, which put it basically flat, and then I put it halfway to a slight incline. So I did some sets flat, some sets slight incline. Re just really focusing on a good stretch, good squeeze, um, a lot of time under tension just really try my best to feel the muscle more so than uh, you know having some crazy numbers written on a piece of paper next up had to finish it up because we had to go uh, had to go eat and also avoid traffic I think so we just hit some face pulls as you can see here 
Uh, I typically do these with the pulley at a lower level than this. Um, but uh, my boy was doing it at this, this height, so I just hopped right on. Felt pretty good. Um, the definition, actually, you know, it's funny. Every time I go to L.A., uh, my sleep cycle gets a little weirded. I usually put on a little bit of weight because I eat more fried, fried plantains. So lacking a little bit of the definition I probably had just a week or two ago, just by a bit, and also just from some instantaneous just water weight from the night before and the day before. Actually, the next day, went to a different Gold's Gym. This was in North Hollywood. Uh, I actually bumped into Bradley Martin when I was there. Start off this workout with uh, Jefferson squats, another atypical movement that I've been doing just a little bit lately uh, for a little bit of spice and fun. I'll probably take these out again, especially if uh, I do decide to compete this year. I'll be going back to my typical legs push, pull, legs push, pull off program, most likely. Not 100% sure. Uh, this is an exercise you have to be really careful with. You try your best to perform it as uh, symmetrically as possible. Keep in mind, you know, it's a really it's an asymmetrical movement. It's something you have to be very careful of. And even on, when I was uh, lifting it off the ground, like I didn't include in this video, but I saw my lower back round quite a bit. So that was, uh, I guess, it, since I was looking how why my lower back was hurting today, uh, the day after this, I was like, oh, that's why. Plus, I didn't warm up. Just sometimes, <laughs> even I skip things like uh, a full thorough warm up and then I pay the consequences. So that's always why I recommend uh, you know, doing whatever warm up and mobility you need to do to perform at your best uh, and to just have that patience to not jump straight into workout because every time I do that, something bad happens, man. Something bad happens. And uh, I'd like to be lifting for the next you know, 50, 60 years. Hopefully, after that, did some uh, reverse dumbbell lunges, quad and glute exercise right here. Um, mainly doing these with the focus on glutes, so I'm really just trying to feel the weight on the back of my heel of the front foot, as well as um, just mentally focusing on putting the weight on my glute of that front foot as I'm doing it. Lining at this gym is freaking solid. Um, highly recommend this uh, Gold's Gym North Hollywood. Definitely beats the other Gold's Gym in Hollywood. After that, believe it or not, I did front squats. And typically, front squats are my first movement of my leg days. Um, I was actually not planning on doing front squats, and that was the main reason. I uh, thought I was going to do leg press today, but this gym does not have a Cybex leg press. A lot of gyms don't have Cybex leg press, which is unfortunate because uh, if it's that one leg press that is closest to a squat in a way, feels the best on my body, my joints, my muscles. It just feels natural. And all this gym had were hack squats and sleds. So did about three, I think three sets of eight of front squats. Had a good time. Actually, looks like I have calves here, which is, that's a plus. It's definitely a plus. After that, did some um, banded lateral steps just for abductors. And actually, I don't know if I got it on film. I must have accidentally deleted it. But um, before this entire workout, and actually super excited with those Jefferson squats, we did abductors and adductors. So the typical good girls, bad girls. So I hit bad girls, good girls, Jeffersons, bad girls, good girls, Jeffersons, or it might have been good girls first. I kind of forgetting. But um, anyways, we finished off these banded lateral steps. Keep tempting on those the entire time. All right, guys, killed that workout. Great legs day with Brittany over here. Appetizer for dinner. We got a Greek salad, strip steak. We're at Boss Nova in Hollywood. About to have a really good time. So guys, when you're in Hollywood or in Los Angeles, come to Bossa Nova, get the fried plantains, come with a girl who's afraid to eat the fried plantains <laughs> for IBS reasons, and consume theirs. Get the chicken skewers, rice, beans with the yuca, the fried plantains, high in carbs and fat, high in deliciousness. You have to try it, it's delicious. It's like a, it's like a donut version of a freaking fruit. It's so good. No, way better than It's donuts. like if fruit was a donut. No, no. But even better than that, <laughs> it would be a fried plantain. It's so good. And uh, yeah, time to dig in. 
such a good meal. Alright guys, so we hiked Runyon just now. That was really exciting because we went all the way up and then went about halfway down and we realized I left something at the top, left uh, Trends Leash at the top. So we had to go all the way back up, went all the way back down. So we burned a ton of calories. But uh, for dinner, I'm basically having leftovers from Bossa Nova as well as leftovers uh, that I brought down from NorCal. So we got chicken, more chicken, fried plantains. Rice, beans, Japanese sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, a big ass salad. And then here, just some like hummus and kind of like the double leftovers from like two days ago that I ate yesterday, but I didn't finish, so they're double leftovers. The next workout the next day was a uh, lats, shoulders, and arms workout at Powerhouse Gym in Torrance, California. Uh, I go to Torrance every once in a while to visit my boy Chat, who's my MAT specialist, works on my body, tries to uh, get me fixed, and uh, it's been helping a lot. So I actually recommend my boy Chat, as well as uh, MAT in general. Um, Muscle Activation LA is where you can find Chat, if you just Google that. Um, so I did you know, three sets of eight, three sets of eight of this, did a bunch of bro work for shoulders, some buys, some tries that I didn't film. I was here with my boy Ryan Doris and Brandon Wells. Got to spend some time with them. So that was really important. That was a good time. Just good to see these guys. Uh, two great guys. If you don't know Ryan Doris, bruh. If you know my boy Brandon, bruh. Anyways, I think that was it. That was all the footage I actually got of this workout, guys.